Hey, hey, Matthew Loop here, best-selling author of Social Media Made Me Rich. Here's how it can do the same for you. And I'm super thrilled today because I have my main man, Ethan, joining me. Ethan, how are you today, pal? Good. Good. What do you got there? What is that? The Solar Eclipse book. Oh, the Solar Eclipse book. You were learning about eclipses the last couple weeks, right? Yes. Yes. I just saw the eclipse in school, but, but now it's... Finished. Now there's another eclipse coming. It's I know. You saw the solar eclipse when you were at school. That's awesome. And there's another eclipse that is coming. Is it's, it it's a cl- lunar eclipse? It, yes, it is the lunar oh, eclipse. Wow, that is so awesome. I love eclipses. But Ethan, today we're going to discuss one of the biggest personal branding secrets out there. And it deals with authenticity. Ethan, what is Authenticity. Being true to yourself and genuine. Being true to yourself and genuine. That's a very powerful concept. Thanks for your help with that, Ethan. Being true to yourself and genuine. This is something that many brands, entrepreneurs, chiropractors, uh, business professionals in general seem to forget on social media, which is why they don't have a large following. They're not really creating any influence. They're not making any money. Authenticity is the key. And there are two really good points about this that I wanted to make in this video. Ethan explained it perfect, being genuine, being true to yourself with who you are. The great thing about when you are authentic, genuine with yourself, transparent, is that you draw a line in the sand. When you draw a line in the sand, you naturally attract people that are like you and that you want to serve. And you also repel those that are not for your message or your content. This just came to my mind the other day as I posted something on Facebook, maybe some new people to like new followers that I had, they didn't really understand, they didn't understand about my personal journey from hardship to success or because I just happened to use the word fuck, which offended some people and I don't use it very often, but you have to be true to yourself and I will not tame myself on social media. I try to, I think it's really, really important to be yourself and you attract who you want to attract. And the second point is you ultimately have to look in the mirror every morning and say to yourself, did I really express who I am? Am I comfortable with this? Some people just post on Facebook and they're completely opposite offline. And I agree there's a time and place to whether it's be professional or to kind of let your hair down just a bit. However, you will not build massive influence if you tow a tiptoe the line, if you stay in the middle, you'll get ran over. So if you really want to multiply your impact, your inc- income, and your influence, you're going to take a stand in your business, in your personal life, and you will start to put out messages that resonate and attract the right people. So this is a very simple concept, very simple concept, but sometimes I think we forget. We try to either be someone that we're really not, or we don't give people a real view into our life. And and it's interesting because people can sense very fast if you're the real deal, if you're not, or if you're just trying to be politically correct all the time. That's not how you're going to create the biggest impact in the world. So I hope you understand that because I want to see you thrive and prosper in this new economy, but you have to, you just got to know the basics, the personal brands that are just killing it online. If you look at them, they're very transparent and they're authentic with who they are. Whatever that is for you, I mean, that's that. ultimately you have to write a list and down and, and what you want to say. But in terms of thinking about filtering yourself or, I, I mean, we're adults. <laughs> we're not little kids. You've got to put yourself out there and you got to, you know, don't be afraid to take some hits. You're going to get the haters. That's part, that's part of it. You know, I only flash a fraction of the people that send me bad messages or post terrible comments when I'm on Facebook, right? But I get them all the time. It doesn't deter me from my message because my purpose is strong and I'm helping a lot of people, having a lot of fun and we're doing very well financially because of it. So the the word of the day, what is it, Ethan? What's the word of the day? Authenticity. Authenticity, yes. Listen, if you found value from this, thumb it up. Show me you're listening. And certainly if you have anything below to add to this, um, whether it's constructive or... um, or any, anything else, I would love to hear your feedback on how you are using authenticity in your brand and in your messaging to either attract people or to repel. There is a specific, you know, just be yourself. Some, some people are not going to like the shirt that I'm wearing today for whatever reason. They might not like the surroundings. Who cares? It's ultimately you have to look 
in the mirror at the end of the day? And are you happy with that? Did you do all you could to express your values, your beliefs, and to help as many people as you could and to better the quality of life for your family? Or did you hold back? I don't want to hold back. I want to even teach my son to be genuine. And if people like you for that, that's fantastic. And if they don't, that's fantastic as well because you're actually drawing a line in the sand. So anyway, guys, hey, quick shout outs. Walter, Joanne, Vernon, James, Russell, Chad, Louise, Manuel, Anil, Jody. What's up, guys? Brad, Aaron. Hey, thanks for joining me. And if you have anything to add, certainly uh, add it below. Thumb it up if you like this content. But this is one of the most common, uh, I would say the biggest things that personal brands that are just crushing it online have in common. And it just also feels really good at the end of the day when you turn off your phone or your laptop. I mean, you said what you wanted to say and you attracted the right people into your tribe and you repelled those that weren't a great fit for you. Have a fantastic Labor Day weekend and I will talk to you soon. Any final words, Ethan? Any words of wisdom? Wisdom? Any words of wisdom? No, you're just going to let them think about it. Yeah, I like that. That's a good strategy. Yeah. All right, guys. Love you. Ciao.